So I just finished round 21 and I'm ready to add my weights and my stuffing to the bottom part of the body. So I've already got my jar lid in there. So first I'm going to add my stuffing and I'm just going to add it around the outside edges. So I'm going to try to keep a hole in the center and I do work in levels. So right now I'm just putting it to about right here. And I'm gonna put that stuffing all the way around the turkey, creating a hole in the middle. And just use your fingers to kind of press that stuffing out to the outside. And then tear off small pieces, those are easier to work with. Okay, so now I have my first layer down. And you can kind of see the hole in there. And now I'm gonna add some rocks, gems. I'm gonna press those down in the center. And you wanna put the stuffing in between the gems and the body so that you won't have the odd um, bulges of the stones sticking out of your body. You don't want no weird looking turkey with abnormal bumps coming out of it. Something is wrong with that turkey. So then you're just going to stuff the next layer just around the edges, okay. Now you're going to pour more stones in. And like I noted in the pattern, this is not a toy. This is just a decoration. That's why I'm using these stones. If you're making this for a, a child you'll want to use like the poly pellets or something like that inside of a stocking or a baby sock or something okay that's pretty good pretty good weight so now i just fill in the rest with the stuffing and then continue on with my pattern now you don't want to overstuff because you don't want your holes to be showing your stuffing. Okay, there we go. Uh -huh. Then we're just gonna continue on with our pattern for row, or I'm sorry, round 22.